7's Mike Holden learned a 95-year-old woman was still in the car. He joins us live in Bloomfield. Mike? And Peggy, that's why so many people are so disgusted by this story coming out of their doors and their homes and saying, this is unbelievable. Fast forward this afternoon. We're right here at the intersection where this all went down. These two women pulled over right here in this exact spot looking for help. That's when they say this guy jumped into the car, drove off, all while a 95-year-old woman was sitting shotgun in the passenger seat. But I have to get you to the latest information right now. The carjacking happened here in the middle of the afternoon along Taylor and Idaline streets. Sunday afternoon, right around 3 o'clock, Pittsburgh police say a 63-year-old woman was driving a 95-year-old woman when they started having some car issues. They pulled over the Altima at the Bloomfield intersection. That's when they say a man in his mid-40s, heavily tattooed with facial hair and wearing a baseball cap, said he would help them. Minutes later, the woman says he jumped into the car and drove off with the 95-year-old woman still sitting shotgun. Eventually, the elderly woman got out to safety, but not without some bumps and bruises. Neighbors told us they're on edge because this guy is still out there. I think it's horrible, especially the lady, the elderly lady. I mean, he had no regard for her whatsoever, and that really bothered me. Okay, so that elderly woman is okay, treated and released from the hospital, but that's not the end of this story. We're trying to get more information from Pittsburgh police. Once again, the Nissan Altima was recovered, but they say as part of the investigation, they haven't determined exactly where, so that's one piece. Plus, we're working to get more information from people in this neighborhood and how they're fighting back against this particular crime. Reporting live in Bloomfield this afternoon, Mike Holden, Channel 11 News. New at noon, man wanted